So let's take a look at um, circular commands. Um, circular commands are really only used in welding applications. If you're in pick and place, you're probably not going to utilize them. Um, just FYI, a couple things. Um, just if you go into, uh, so we're going to walk through that. A couple things. One, if you don't like all these views uh, of these lines, all you got to do is go up to view, program, node map, and turn off stuff. So view, program, node map, position triads, you can adjust that to your blue in the phase. Um, you can turn it off completely. Um, pro I kind of like the, uh, you know, position connector lines for this, you know, and you can turn things back on for all I care. Um, term type, you can view. So completely up to you um, how you want to go about things. All right. Uh, to do a circular command, this is going to be a little bit different. So I want to draw it out first. And let's pretend this is my circle. So I'm going to, uh, this is my circle. Let me, so if I'm going to be doing this, how we do a, a circle command is a combination of one linear with two circles. And, and it'll make sense. And if you want to do a complete circle, you got to have a second circle command. So if I'm going to draw this, let me, um, let me create a new job so it gets rid of those lines. So I'm going to hit edit. This is my last job. Um, let me teach you something that can be dangerous, but let's go ahead and do this. If I hit next and edit command, I can go to my copy and paste command. And once you hit copy, you can hit select and it will, oh, let me go back. Um, do that again. So, and then you, once it's in this thing, you can hit select and then highlight all the, all, everything that you want to copy and paste. If I hit copy, it's going to copy that. So now if I want to create a new job, I'm going to call this circle. Edit. If I go back to edit command, copy and paste, you notice that paste is there. If I hit paste and hit position, it's going to bring in everything from that job, that last job. Okay, there's there's a whole different thing on pasting. Just if you're doing it from one job to another, I would go put the do the paste position. Um, that's a whole other video is pasting, but that made my life easier. So now, so say this is my circle. When I go in to teach this, what I want to do is I'm going to hit control, uh, turn on my draw feature. Let me go black. I'm going to go to this point right here and make and and I'm going to put that as a linear command. Basically at 12 o'clock, and you can do this in any order by like saying, you know, 9, 12, if you're looking like this face, this will be a circle command. And this would be the partner circle command over here. Okay, so this would be P1. Uh, well, in this case, P2. So let me just make that a 2. Uh, P3. And then this will be P4 way over here. Okay. Um, that's how I would do that top arc. And that's what it would, the job would look like. And if I want to complete the circle, I would go down to 9 o'clock and make this another... So this would be C5, and then I would complete it by another command here of, of C2, because I already got that position kind of labeled. So that's how we're going to do things. So one linear command to my first position, then C, C, and then C, C, okay? So let's, let's do this. So here's my, you know, here's my position, and let me move... Um, Let's move the robot. And let's make sure we get right up on there. So now they're in position. I'm going to just um, reverse this back a little bit. Because again, approach position. 
and make that my uh, J motion to there. And let's uh, previous out and uh, previous out next and let's go shift point and now there's my joint. Okay. Now let me Z to my position. And we're going to make this an, an L position. Okay. So there's my L. And so now what I'm going to do is just Y over to like the center and X up to the top. So it's roughly at, yeah, it's about right. Cause that's about uh, the, the, I got a 50 millimeter part here. You know, it can be clo close. Let me Z down a little bit, uh, about right there. Yeah, that's good enough. And so now here comes the tricky point. Let me hit point and you realize there's no circle command here. So what I need to do is hit edit definition. These are my main default definitions. On the second joint motion here, I'm gonna change that to a circle. Now circular arc allows me to do a free form type setup. Um, that's an A, this would be a C. And now again, this is like a linear where, where it's about speed. I'm gonna just do that. And I recommend doing the continuous because if not, it's gonna stop at that position, it's not gonna be smooth. So I'm gonna hit enter, hit done. And now I'm gonna hit point circle and notice it gives me two positions automatically because it knows you're going to do this other this other position way over here so now we move to that third the third position now that I'm back so you can see it so I'm just going to X down basically to where I'm on par with the other one. And I'm going to Y over. Whoops, come on. In some ways this is easier, in some ways it's harder. So that's where I'm par here. That should do me. So now I'm at that position, everything looks okay. I'm at that position. Let me hit touch up, and now there's a point there. And I'm gonna just hit. hit I'm gonna just do another point in a, a joint motion, and then go back up to position number one. Okay. So now let's run this job through. That went really fast. Let me slow that down. And don't worry about the triangle here, because you'll see, I'm going to slow that bad boy down to five so you can see. Move over, linear in, and you can see it goes right on the edge of that circle. And if I was better teaching it, it would, but th th there's that circular arc. And as done, it's there. So that's just one circle. If I want to complete the whole thing, here, what I would do is this. Let me go down and... If I want to add points, if I hit the next button here and edit command, I can insert and I can insert as many blanks as I want. So I'm going to put in uh, three blanks. OK, so that allows me to add more blanks and uh, my cursor is at line seven. I'm going to forward to position five. Or let me go, let me go into step mode and forward through each position only because only because this gives me the right height and I don't you know so it's a similar height forward forward and so now I'm at that same height What I can do is move Y to the middle and X down to the bottom. Come on.
move the X down to the bottom. And if I wanted to, I can Z in a little bit too, that's fine. And now all I gotta do is point, circle, and instead of touching up that last point, we already got point three. Put it in there. And I'm just doing another point here, uh, you know, linear motion out, and make that point two. And now if I step if I go through the whole thing, I'm gonna get out of step for the you know. Hit function aboard all, go back to the top of my job, and then hit forward. Oh, I'm not hitting shift. That's why I was in control. So here we go. Down in, circle, 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 circle around the outside. Around the outside. And it should keep on going. right around that edge all the way to the outside and that is how you do a circle command and then joint back to home so i guess i can move that to the middle but it's close enough but again let's do it from this side and i'll speed it up a little bit And you can see how fast that goes. But that's your basic circle command. Um, and that's some of the job editing. If I want to go in again, if I want to edit a little bit, I could go in, change my motion type by, by hitting choice. I could go in, change the position value by hitting choice. I could go in and just change any of these things by hitting choice. Um, but yeah, that's some basic editing with a little bit of copy and pasting in there. Um, Shoot, if I wanted to go back through, man, eh, I'm not going to do that this time. I wasn't doing reverse pace, but that gets a little complicated with circles and the way things are set up. So, um, But yeah, that's the uh, long and short of it. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know. But that's how you do a circle command.